Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to February's How to Kill a Kit with Style wrap up. If you recall, I based my kit in February on the gorgeous uh, Cartabella Oh Happy Day uh, collection. It was the spring edition, I think, of that collection. I keep saying that and I don't know where I saw that. Is it here? I don't know, I keep saying the springy. I guess maybe just because it looks springy, but I'm I'm sure I had seen somewhere that it was sort of the spring edition. Anyway, so it uh it had a stick a couple of sticker sheets, and so I'll get to my leftovers shortly, but I thought I would just quickly show you the projects. I won't spend time because I've shown them many times. You saw my full layout share just a couple of hours ago, but specifically with the kit. I did two uh, spreads in my, me, myself, and I, and yes, I've got it in the book now, so I'll be showing you that later uh, in the week as I get a little bit done. So two spreads of that and the home away from home prompt as well. So I got two spreads and then I got four 12 by 12 layouts. This one I had done for the... Um, She's Crafty Mini Paper Pad Class and the Love is in the Air Hop, a Sketch Sunday. I love this one, actually. This one turned out, it, it's not, it went in a totally different direction, but I really, I really, really like this one. This one, which you've seen quite a few times now, my leftover soup from a Sketch Sunday. And this, oops, not that one. And then this one based on the online um, scrapbooking classes inspired by online scrapbooking classes. And this one was done by, was a class by Sarah Scraps. So those are the layouts I've done. I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy. I still have quite a bit left. I'm going to go through it with you. Uh, I have a lot of the ephemera. This is probably what I used the least. I did use a few pieces, namely on the um, trifold page that I did. I, I got a couple of pieces on there, but I didn't do so well on that. The alphas that I had added to the kit, I did use them all. So I got one title for sure with this, which was the um, Giverny page, one of the Sketch Sundays. I used this alpha um, a couple of times, actually, because it had not been open. So I did get that used a little bit. And of course, as always, I managed to find room for the Oh um, Happy Day. Um, happy Life, I'm sorry. Happy Life, Little Alphas. So then uh, I have a lot, a lot of little scraps left as well put that there and these I am keeping we have this fun discussion last night actually in the secret not secret kit club group about keeping small scraps or not it was hilarious we are a few that hold on to anything and everything and I have this because I already have an idea for a sketch that I want to do that has a lot of paper strips in it so this will be perfect for that so a lot of the smaller uh smaller scraps that are here. I have more here. Little birds. A little bit of a larger, larger piece. This one here, I have this full script, but I think I kept this intact because I really want to use these three, three by four cards. A larger scrap and another larger scrap. These are now this, um... I might have kept this also for a couple of the three by fours, I think, because I think I would like to use this one and that one. Just a piece of black cardstock. I don't think I used any of these. This I had added to the kit. I don't think I used any of these. I did use these. I used these little tabs and I did use two of the florals, I think, on this sticker sheet. Um, I used one of these doilies and I did use a white doily as well on the 
sketch, one of the sketch Sundays. That's still left. I don't think I used that at all. I still have some of the printables. Of course, I did use quite a bit of the printables, and you'll see. But I had, these I had sort of taken off the main sheets when I was doing the Build-A Page because I also used this kit to do two or three of the Build-A-Page um, layouts. So I de-kitted that portion of it. I still have these lovely labels. And then in the full sheets, I don't have a lot in the full sheets. Actually, I have four full sheets. This one is a cut apart and on this side is a strawberry. So I think we're gonna go through this and take the cut aparts that um, I would like to use. Uh, definitely this one, a perfect day. This, I could even just take this part out and use this separately. This for sure, uh, this for sure. And this I could, you know, if the sentiment isn't quite right, I could do something in the middle. This gorgeous floral that I did not use, nor the hat, so that needs to get used. I'm going to carry that forward somehow. This, oh, that's not there. This lovely pale pink with the polka dots. And this gorgeous, I, I challenged myself to use this side, hadn't I? And I haven't. Well, we'll see. And then this page here with the frames and the four by six journaling card. So I still have quite a bit of usable goodies here. So I think I might bring some of that forward. And then I guess a little bit of the fail here is I did not use this sticker sheet. I did not use these alphas at all, at all. And I did not use the sticker sheet for some reason either. And I don't know why, because they're, they're very, very usable. So I need to do something about that. Then I had added some cardstock. Uh, I did use one of the yellow, the sort of darker yellow, but I still have this pale yellow, this lovely sort of mint, and this pink. Then in the printables, of course, you saw that I used so much of the grid paper that I had added. Uh, I did use some of these lovely little hearts, and I did use some... Uh, I do tend to use the printables pretty much on every layout, just, you know, here and there, maybe not as the main focus of the embellishments as I do when I'm doing one of the DT projects, but I do, they definitely are a go-to embellishment for me. So I did get, you know, some of these used up for sure. So there you go. That is my wrap up for February mitigated. I'm sad that I didn't use the sticker sheets. I, I really expected more of myself as far as the sticker sheets go, but there you go. So we'll try and keep those at hand. And you may see my How to Kill a Kit for March, perhaps on Tuesday as opposed to tomorrow, because I'm still in a little bit of a quandary. We'll see if I make that decision today, then I will get the video up tomorrow. Otherwise, you will see my March How to Kill a Kit with Style on Tuesday. I hope you had and are having a wonderful weekend. Talk to you soon, my friends. Bye for now.